people forget about Princess Margaret is that she popularised the peep toe sandal. <laughs> Mike Fergie. Mm, well, we won't dwell on her use of open-toed footwear. <laughs> well, whoever it is, we line up and curtsy. I lead. Why you? Well, I'm used to this. I met the Duchess of Devonshire. Met her? You cornered her. If you'd have stood any nearer, you'd have fell in her handbag. <laughs> It might be Princess Anne. No, she doesn't go around factories, does she? She leans towards Land Rovers in the jungle. It's more of a sleeveless blouse approach. Princess Anne, is he factories? No, it's theatres. He used to like go to theatres with tea bags. I do not. <laughs> it were on news. He had this job and he had to turn up with a box of tea bags. Did you not see it? No. Yeah, because they like filmed him going in and he's like clutching this box of tea bags. Yeah, mission accomplished. <laughs> what kind of tea bag? Because there are so many different sorts nowadays. Oh, that's right. There's been a revolution in teabag technology in the last decade. <laughs> what? There's one cup for if you just want one cup. Pot size. Drawstring. Pyramid. And they're bringing one out for osteoporosis. <laughs> I have a see-through teapot with a plunger. I sent one over to New Zealand. It was so good. <laughs> What's that got to do with osteoporosis? <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, I didn't realise every topic had to link up. <laughs> I didn't realise I was on Blockbusters. Oh, missed it. What's the gem? Oh. Who's it going to be? Dear Jean, I don't think Stan twigged the topic under discussion was osteoporosis. Eh? Well, Jean's some kind of discussion warden, Stan. Oh, just because we're not all agog about your plunge teapot. <laughs> well, at least I'm up to date with my refreshment china. At least I'm not offering round mugs that say I'm backing Britain. I knew you'd been in my top cupboard. Hey, Stan, have you got one of those slippery floor warning cones? I've got four. Not that people clock them. Folk rushing to urinate, they don't focus. <laughs> Must you? It was never like this at the Café Bonbon. Why do you ask anyway, Tony? Recones. Eh? Hey? God, I don't know. I'm losing the will to live here. <laughs> yes. Hi! What's that lovely perfume? Right. OK, we've been ripped. <laughs> What's that? Would it be all right to wash it, do you think? I hate always having things dry clean, but sometimes even a cold water wash, they go sort of limp. Hello? Sorry. Right, the briefing. Now, the plan is that the royal party will arrive and go straight to the main boardroom, cup of tea, wash their hands and so on. Royal party and visitors to avail themselves of the boardroom laboratory facilities, I assume. Uh, let me just... Who's the royal? Ooh. It's His Royal Highness Prince James, the Duke of Danby. The oh, Duke of Danby? <laughs> oh, yes. Well, who is he? Well, I'm not sure. I think he's one of the Queen's cousins, second cousin or... And is he British? Well, let me... Oh, well, I assumed he was British. What type of skin tone are we talking here, do we think? <laughs> I don't honestly know. Is he more of an African type royal? I mean, he is royal. It's not Prince as in Duke Ellington. <laughs> Did they mention anything about underwear? N not specifically. Oh, cos I was just wondering how we should play it with, like, bras and pants and... You won't all be in your overalls. Oh, I know. <laughs> so here I am. I've been along the top corridor, I've been in the big shed pressing buttons, and now I'm going to queue for my lunch. Dinner! Dinner. <laughs> He's not going to queue. According to our briefing, he wants to be treated exactly the same way as the workers. We assumed it would be a tablecloth job. Silver service. Silver what? I'm talking city and guilds. This is when you had to work for a qualification. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> Tony Blair. Stick two poems up in a bush shelter and call it a university. <laughs> so, they come in, queue up, we lay on our normal dinner. Oh, I thought we'd do something a bit special, like a medieval banquet. Oh, and we'd be like the serving wenches. I'm not being the wench. Go on, Philippa. I'm too natty for the wench. You need more of a lived-in look, like Jean. <laughs> look, if we were having a wench, we'd have Bren. Now leave it. Philippa. Well, as I say, they just come in in the normal way, collect a tray, queue up. So, they stood there. Jean lobs a pie at them, twink gobs in the coleslaw, Bren gives them the wrong change, Stan runs them over with the mop trolley. So far, <laughs> going well. They sit. They eat. Mm, 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 mm. Golly, that was lovely. Then the royal party get up, 
Have a look round the kitchen. Yes. Chat to the girls. No. Duke has specifically requested. Look, line them up behind the counter. Divvy up with a gravy, bit of a curtsy, jolly good, carry on, end, end of encounter. I am not letting some poor beggar of a Queen's cousin loose with this bunch of uplift bras, mood swings and nasty habits. Oh, <laughs> Excuse me. Tony, you've got to give us a crack at actually talking to him. I mean, chatting to a bona fide old royal, that'd be great. Yeah, great for you. You'll be asking him if he's ever seen the inn of the Six Happiness. Dolly will be telling him what happens if you turn left at the bus station. Twinkle will be flogging him cup price ecstasy. Ha ha, I'm nearly laughing. Jean will be dobbing the odd yeast infection into the conversation. <laughs> Forget it. No, really, I think we do have to abide by the wishes of the Royal oh, Visitor. in thrush. I was. <laughs> specifically requested. Are you implying I insert thrush into general conversation? <laughs> you thrust thrush. They want to meet the canteen I workers and in and thrush into the conversation. <laughs> you do. You thrust it in, you thrush it out. So why don't we have to... on. Are you calling me a thrush thruster? <laughs> I'm thrusher. You teeter on the thrush threshold, threatening to thrash. <laughs> and do the rest of you agree with this? Yes. yes. This is what's going to happen. You can all go on the counter, but when the royals come round, you serve, you clear up, and you don't speak to them unless they speak to you. Right. Male maintenance person exiting female washroom premises. Stan, royal party, you don't speak unless they do, right? Understood. That's protocol. It stops your commoner overstepping the conversational mark. You've had dealings, have you, Stan, with the royal family? Oh, yes. Where was this? Must he? No, Catrick Armour Camp. Oh. <laughs> Who did you meet, Stan? Him that's coming, James. He turned up with, what's he called? Hands behind his back, dog carts. Prince Philip? Yeah. <laughs> what's he like? Well, I didn't meet Prince Philip. He was stood by this tank laughing. And I was stood with this other lad. And we were whitewashing this basket that held volleyballs. And the Duke, Prince James, he came up. What did he say? Well, they're trained from birth to put people at their ease, and he come up and he said, "White watching a basket, eh? <laughs> it was like I'd known him all my life. <laughs> Go on. And then he said, so what goes in there, then? What did you say? A load of balls? <laughs> volleyballs? Go on, Stan. I said, the intention, sir, is to fill it with volleyballs. And he was very interested, obviously, because they are trained to take a tremendous interest in day-to-day -day folk. But, naturally, he was pressed for time, so he just said, very good, carry on, which I did. And when was this? April 15, 1967. A warmish day, 11.15. Is nobody going home? Anybody fancy a gangbang on a cream cracker? <laughs> What's a gangbang? <laughs> it's people having sex in a bunch. Well, how do they all fit on a cream cracker? <laughs> Bren, fetch a cream cracker. Ah. I'll see you. My friend tried to do it on a dildo. <laughs> Where was this? In Thailand? I mean, a lilo. You mad, you? Come on. See ya. Bye. Yeah. I'm fully expecting him to approach me, actually. What's this? Stan's met Prince James before. 1967, 11 15. So he'll know me, Tony. They never forget a face. <laughs> 30 years, though, Stan. I mean, they all have met no, quite a few... No, the things. trade. You wait. I shan't push myself forward. I shall be very surprised if I don't hear. How's the basket whitewashing business? Just a humorous man-to-man -man pleasantry. And then what I can say to him, I left the army. Put your foot where? Foot behind. Now point it more the other way. And your head. Hey? Are you graciously inclined your head? Blimey, it's like rubbing your head and patting you your doodle. <laughs> What will you do, Jean? Just bob. What do you mean, just? I should probably go for the full curtsy. Hiya. Hiya, Nita. Because I'm very loose in the hip, you see, with my yoga size. There's nothing wrong with my hips. It's only three years since I won a rumba competition. <laughs> yes, on a caravan side. I can sink as low as you like, you know. Oh, I know you can. I was at your swimwear party. <laughs> <laughs> Did you practice your curtsy, Anita? Oh, Jean. Everything all right down there? Fine, thank you. <laughs> uh, that'll help the royal visit go with a swing. You sprawled on the lino waiting for the paramedics. Just go and check me dry goods. <laughs> oh, I 
feel guilty now. What, for saying she couldn't curtsy? <laughs> saying it was a caravan site. It was actually quite an upmarket all-weather holiday village. <laughs> <laughs> Have you decided what bra you're going to wear? <laughs> How do you mean bra? What do you mean? I don't know what you mean. To meet the prince. I made a list of all my bras last night. <laughs> Did you? Why, how many have you got? Seventeen. Then I divided my knickers into work, casual and evening. <laughs> do you ever do that? No, but I'll tell you what I do do. I take all the labels off my tins then I don't know what I'm having for my tea. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do that? It's brilliant. I'm thinking, what's it going to be? Fruit salad? Alphabet spaghetti? <laughs> Is it yet? No. Brilliant. Do you ever make a list of all your brass twinkle? You mad, you. <laughs> so you'll bring them over from the table. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Are you having another practice? Yeah. So how will you get them through the gap? Now, let's think this through. Well, you want to, like, round them up sheepdog style, and then Tony can, like, waft them in. Waft? No, that's good. We're really getting to grips with this now. Up we come to the gap. Gap, I'm not here, by the way. I stand back and indicate. I waft them through, apparently. Then you introduce them to the nearest worker. No, I'm not here, by the way. Oh. So, Twinkle, turn round. You say, this is our youngest worker, Twinkle. This is our youngest worker, Twinkle. And then, ladies first, the Duchess might say... What might you say, Brian? Oh, what's the most popular meal here in the canteen? <laughs> Who's that supposed to be, Bread? I don't know. It'll come out a bit Monty Python, that, didn't it? <laughs> no, that's fine. It's marvellous that we're actually rehearsing it in this detail. Look, I'll be Her Royal Highness. So that's me there, and that's her here. Here I am. So, tell me, what is the most popular meal here in the canteen? Arseholes on tours. <laughs> oh, lovely. And then we move on. <laughs> You're not going to say that? No. You're not going to say anything like that? Leave me alone. So you won't say nothing like that? <laughs> I've said to them if they're going to send us Belgian feeder tubes, they'll have to send a Belgian to go with them. It's crazy. Mm. Hey, 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 excuse me. I haven't finished that. Sorry, I thought we were just crumbs. <laughs> it's a croissant. Are you going to take someone's plate away? He's made a few crumbs with a croissant. I don't know why you bother serving him in the first place. No, you're right. I was a little bit eager, though. Yeah, I'm going to pay for this croissant. If I want to lick my finger and dab it at every bit on my plate, I've every right to do that. <laughs> no, you're right. People chain themselves to railings for that, didn't they, for the rights? Pardon? You're on telly. Did you not see it? What were they called? Um, what are them things like cucumbers? Suffragettes. <laughs> are you finished now? Yes. Not the coffee. Are you nearly done, Bren? Hang on. How are you doing? Oh, not bad. You've got white of your egg, few beans, what's that, a couple of mushrooms, two forkfuls. How do you work that out? Well, if you balance your beans on your egg white, then while you're chewing that, have a good scrape round, stabbing them two mushrooms en route. I don't, I don't like mixing them up. You're joking. No, I, I have my beans, I have my mushrooms, but only individually, one forkful at a time. Do you not like dipping your sausage in your bean juice, even? No, I couldn't do that. You could do one of them plates with, like, um, compartments on it. I do at home. Yeah. This is all in aid of the royal visit, presumably. This snatching a place. Yeah, well, they're coming in for the dinner, so we're trying to get it really nice. Oh. Well, I think they're an outdated institution. Finished. I said I've finished! Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you meant monarchy was finished. Are you done? Well, I've got this egg white. Oh, it's only placenta, leave it. Is it? Documentary about it on television. Did you not see it? Brilliant. Had this camera going right through a fallopian tube. <laughs> They're fantastic. You know, they reckoned that if chickens were as big as people, it'd be like a nightmare because they'd never like queue for a bus. Check it. <laughs> so, could you like never have lasagna then? Lasagna? No, I'd never have something like that. I was thinking that. You couldn't have that. Lasagna because it's in layers, isn't it? Yeah. Or pizza. Pardon? You couldn't have pizza? No. No. <laughs> That's me, John. Thank you. What do you think, Bren? You look great. Look at me bust. <laughs> Can you see anything? Like what? Can you see my nipples? <laughs> yeah? 
You see, what I don't want to happen is, if I'm serving the prince, say, coleslaw, yeah. then say someone goes out on fire escape, there's a big cold draft. Ping! In what way, ping? It pulls. Oh, what popping out? Yes. Well, if it does happen, just, like, bend over the baked potatoes. Oh. <laughs> and you get, like, a hot waft. Yeah. In fact, you could put one either side the coleslaw. Uh huh. Seemingly for decoration. One level with each breast. Thanks, Bren. Okay. Jean. Tony. No. Tony. Jean. No. No. <laughs> What's she trying to do to me? We've had enough trouble with this damn curtsying. We've had groin muscles snapping like knicker elastic. <laughs> Every time I come in, there's someone skidding about on the line, all like Torval and Dean. <laughs> Twinkle. <laughs> Do you want to get a job in an upstairs window in Amsterdam, or shall we try and cling on to our little foothold in catering? Ooh, ale and pears. <laughs> leaving the airport now. Brilliant. I was panicking then. It was just hovering over the seven. But luckily, I paid a visit and it dickered back down onto the six. <laughs> Dolly, they're coming to cop a lump of shepherd's pie. Where does weight come in? Well, I retain water. Do you want me to blow it up? I'm easy. Well, you're lucky men don't swell up without warning. No, we get a bit of warning, I suppose. <laughs> Bren, hey. this is him, Catrick, 1967. That's Prince Philip. That's Prince Philip by the tank, and that's the Duke there with his back to the camera. I thought you were on this. See that basket? Yeah. See that line by the side of it? Yeah. That's my leg. <laughs> See? Look at my leg and then look at the photo. <laughs> oh, yeah, great. I treasure that. I was just trying to have that little bit of height. Because it would be nice to stand out. He's bringing his wife, Jean. Did you imagine your eyes were going to meet over a ginger sponge? Because I wouldn't need heels if my feet were permanently attached to a pair of scales. <laughs> They're on their way. What do you think? I stitched them from the top floor. That's what they do for the tables. Oh, yes. Sir. The royal party is sitting at these tables, are they? That lot from packing, they usually sit there. Well, can't they be reserved? We can't have a royal highness sat next to Harry from packing. Big Willy. What? <laughs> <laughs> big Willy from packing, he's the worst. If he starts telling her what came out of his nose on the Big Dipper. <laughs> no, we'll reserve the tables, definitely. Keep your eye on the window, they're driving in that way. Oh. Um, lovely to kill. <laughs> so British. One seldom sees this in the Caribbean. Do I say what I want, or do you just give it to me? No, please do say, Your Highness. There's a choice if you want to choose, ma'am. What's this? Uh, shepherd's pie, ma'am. What's that? <laughs> well, it's mashed potato, ma'am. I don't eat potato. And minced beef and onion in gravy. Oh, no. I don't like the sound of that at all. <laughs> What's that? It's, um, it's Shepherd's Pie, ma'am. You buy Heine, Royal Heine, Heine. <laughs> Not made with real shepherds, I hope. Ha <laughs> <laughs> um, ha Do you want some? Oh, no, so I should have waited for you. No, you... Absolutely, and lots of it. We had an absolutely pathetic breakfast on the plane. I wouldn't give it to a dead ferret. <laughs> do you not? Do you want veg? I'll tell you what I do want. Chips. Yes, chips and the carrots. And kiwi fruit. We never saw kiwi fruit in this country 20 years ago. That's right, you didn't. Now, one of the sperm kinds dropped. The other man didn't on kiwi fruit. You're holding up the queue, darling. Am I? Do as the wife says, eh? We've preserved a very nice table. Jolly good. So gripping to be here with you all. The 
But just finishing their coffee. Then Mr. Michael and I will bring them over, and then they'll just very informally meet And is everybody. it still tea and biscuits in the boardroom? What? Yes. Is it still? Yes. Then you'll take the tea trolley down. Will do. And you'll hand round? We'll hand round. OK, I'm going to bring them over. OK? He probably didn't get a proper look at you before. No, I understand that. He's in a new environment. He's had shepherd's pie to deal with. That's not an easy meal to eat if you seldom have it. <laughs> no, no. I'm not worried. He'll know me now. You see. This is Tony Martin, sir. He's the manager of the canteen. He's in charge of all the girls. In charge of all the girls, eh? Sounds like a good job. That's right, sir. It is. Very much so. Tony, perhaps you'll introduce the girls to the Duke and Her Royal Highness. Yes, sir. Certainly, sir. This is our youngest worker, not being with us very long. This is Twinkle. That's an unusual name. <laughs> Why do they call you that? I don't really know. <laughs> and what's the most popular meal here in the canteen? <laughs> I don't really know. Well, that was very informative. Thank you. And this is Anita. Are you an immigrant? <laughs> Sorry? Just British. Oh, that's good. So you don't find it too cold here? <laughs> no. And how do you feel about having to wear a uniform? I think we can all see the sense of it. For hygiene. And it protects your nipples. <laughs> This is Dolly and Jean, <laughs> our veteran ladies. I wonder whether you could show me what oh, oh. <clears throat> This is our handyman and repairs. This is Stan. And this is my second in command, Brenda. Brenda, fair Brenda of the Shepherd's Pie. You know what you absolutely cannot get from the Caribbean for love nor money? I don't, sir. You could offer them the weight of your left testicle in sterling silver and still they couldn't oblige. <laughs> I'll tell you. A bacon sandwich. The bacon in the Caribbean is indescribable. Why, is it not crispy? Crispy? <laughs> but five, a pension off lollipop lady would have more bite to it. Sir, so if we were thinking of moving down to the... You look like a smoking man. I am, sir. Would you possibly have a little cigarette about your person? I would, actually, sir. My wife thinks if I don't carry them, I won't smoke them. But, of course, in effect, what happens is one's continually on the bum, as it were. <laughs> you have a light? Uh, you can't smoke in here because it's a kitchen. So, uh, what do you do when Lady Nicotine beckons? I go on the fire escape. Good enough to the fire escape. Lead the way. <laughs> Isn't it dreadful? He always throws out the timetable like this. Should we go? Yes. David, would you bring His Royal Highness along when he's finished his fag? Of course, ma'am. <laughs> Blow me, neck. That were a strain. I could do with a fag myself. Right. We'll whip round the other way with the teas and coffees. Anita, are you coming down to serve? I said nipples! <laughs> I was going to say it protects your clothing. I said it protects your nipples! Come on, girls, move it! You better stick around, Bren. You might want to ask you something, I don't know. Are you coming down, Stan? What's that about? Well, you tell me later. Um, I just have a little errand. I have to take something from the car for Her Royal Highness. Will you be around here for a few minutes? The Duke might want a little chat. Yeah, I'll have a chat. Yeah, no problem. Shut them! <laughs> then at last, eh, Brenda? So, how's tricks, Brenda? How's life, do you mean? Really good, yeah, yeah, thanks. You an optimist, Brenda? What, uh, looking on the bright side, you mean? Yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. I do find that extraordinary. Why, do you not, are you not, like, happy with your life? Brenda, I find my life a complete effing ball. <laughs> do you? I'm having dinner tonight at the Industrial Triple Glazing Allied Trades Amalgamation. Oh, yeah. Do you imagine that men who've devoted their lives to Industrial Triple Glazing to be particularly fascinating folk? Are they not? They are spectacularly tedious, titanically dull beings. Oh, well, it's only one night. It's not only one effing night, lovely Brenda. 
It stretches ahead. The Wool Standards Authority here, the Association for the Support of Weaving with Hand Looms there. <laughs> and all I ever want to do, Brenda, 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 all I ever effing want to effing do is have sex. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> and it's such a bugger because I never get any bloody time to do it. I sit round these effing dinner tapes, I just want to scream. I could be having sex here. I could be in bed now with some nice little woman, little clear lane on the high fire. Bacon sandwich. That's effing it, isn't it, Brenda? A bit of sex and a bacon sandwich. But what you do do, I mean, it brings a lot of pleasure to people. I'm sorry, Brenda, but I have to say that really is a lorry load of old poop. No, I mean, you might not be getting a lot out of it, but if an ordinary person meets you, it's, like, really important to them. It's, like, really special. Have you got a cupboard or something? Yeah. You wouldn't fancy a bit of a bunk up, would you? <laughs> not really. A sort of a clinch and a decent snog would do it. I won't, actually. I hope you didn't mind me asking. No, no, I'm quite flattered, actually. <sighs> one day, Brenda, one day, the window of opportunity, the cupboard and the woman, they'll synchromesh like the gears on an Austin Riley. Do you think? Well, they might do. Look, I tell you what, I'll do something for you, and can you do me a favour for somebody else? Go on. Hang on. Come up in five minutes. Now, uh, have I put my cling film? <laughs> He's coming. Uh, where was it again? Catterica. I say. Now, this is a face that looks familiar. I met you earlier on, but with the hairpiece on, it didn't click. Sir? Private Medicroft, isn't it? Catterick Army Camp, 1967. <laughs> That's it, sir. I was up there with that old rogue Philip, wasn't I? Prince Philip, sir, that's correct, sir. Uh, April 15th, sir. That's the one. We have a photo call, sir, when you're ready. Absolutely, lead on. Jolly nice to see you again, Meadowcroft. And you, sir. <laughs> Good luck to both of you. Mustn't forget this. 50% of the perfect evening, eh? <laughs> 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 Meadowcroft. Sir? Keep whitewashing the baskets. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs>